What's up everyone, we're back. Kyle Smain here, Brian Walker, and this is episode one of whatever this is we're doing this season. And we just got back from a trip to Washington State to check out a few different resorts and mostly just find somewhere with good snow because it's been kind of brutal here in Tahoe. Yeah, it was uh, not the weather we were hoping for. We had uh, looked at some reports and open snow and it was looking really nice, at least for the fantasy range. And there was supposed to be a few storms coming in, some atmospheric rivers, and it ended up not hitting Tahoe as well as we had hoped. And instead of the multiple feet that we were supposed to get, we barely got a foot and it ended up raining over 8,000 feet. And so the conditions weren't that ideal and not that fun to ski. The back country looked like it was gonna be pretty destroyed in most spots. So we decided it was time for a little change. Yeah, so we kind of, you know, checked out the weather forecast everywhere we could in the Western portion of the US. And only really the, the Northern stuff, like Jackson looked okay, talked to some people, not that great. And then I saw that my buddy Casey was in Washington. So I called him up and it looks like it's gonna be really good up there. Like what are conditions? And, and basically he said, definitely pull the trigger, come up. We're gonna get feet of snow and then have some bluebird days, which apparently we had half our days were bluebird, but apparently that's pretty rare in Washington. Um, so yeah, we packed up the truck and did the 13 hour trek to Seattle. So the day before we went shooting up at Baker, um, we were looking at the forecast and the avalanche forecast and Grant and Casey had sent over this photo. It was the, a photo from Mount Baker, the ski patrol or something that had thrown one hand charge and broke off this massive avalanche. Whole face went eight to 10 foot crowns, which, which is what the, the snow that they got, they got a hundred inches, eight feet in four days. So basically all of that snow was sitting on a weak layer. Um, yeah, I mean, we were kind of tiptoeing out there. It was, we wanted to make sure we were staying on terrain and faces that were shorter and it was easy to kind of manage what danger we were in. Um, whether it was either stuff that wasn't too steep or wasn't too long. So in case anything happens, um, you could mitigate the risk. But, you know, you'll see from the footage, you know, we didn't get the chance to ski. Like the terrain out there is incredible. Like massive lines, big spines, cliffs, all this stuff. Um, but we didn't really want to put our lives at risk for that. So, yeah. Yeah, the, the goal at the end of the day is always to make it back home safely and not have to spend any time actually dealing with any sort of rescues. And it was noticeable too with seeing the Baker, not Baker, ski resorts, uh, ski patrol doing avi bombing with uh, heli op. So they brought in uh, Heli and were throwing massive charges out the window to try to get this entire face to slide and try to make everything a little bit safer. Yeah. So we knew it was definitely gonna be a little heavy out there if something were to go, but luckily nothing did and got some good shots in a, yeah. some mellower terrain. I mean, we stayed safe all day and you know, I'd say the only, the only downside of that is it ended up being kind of a focus on on photos and not as much on video. So it's kind of like one turn hero turns and, and small lines, but it was sick. I mean, it's always fun on, to get out on a bluebird day and, and go shoot, even if it's not just the party on hot lap shred fest that we wish it would be. Out here, Case Dean's hiding in the trees right over there. But, uh, stumbled on this sick jump so we'll we'll see what's up it's uh woke up at 4 a.m got up here been waiting getting cold and uh sunrise shooting yeah but it's nice too because now you can see a little bit of what goes on uh yeah with the photo the shoot and a little bit of a behind the scenes of what happens for uh athletes at, that are working with photographers out in the backcountry and what they're looking to get out there, whether it's a single hero shot turn or an air or something like that and focusing on getting that one banger shot. <laughs> yeah. Just, I think over the course of the whole season, this will be the first peek into it, but kind of like 
pulling back the veil and bringing you guys behind the scenes on like what actually goes into shooting skiing. Because I think you see the magazines, you see the Warren Miller film, whatever it is, and you're like, oh my God, that's the dream. And it's sick, but there's definitely more work behind the scene and not as much just like high fives and ripping lines all day. So yeah, we spent a couple days out there and ended up going to Crystal Mountain and decided to just ski for fun and enjoy the terrain that was at hand and yeah, not film minus some yeah some POV <laughs> GoPro shots. Yeah, mad iPhone and GoPro, but for the most part, we just linked up with with my buddy Ethan and yeah, we just went skiing. You know, that's what kind of what it's all about, and that's the reason we went. Skiing wasn't good in Tahoe, so we were after wider pastures. And yeah. Crystal and, and Alpental both kind of provided that like new resort to go explore and see what was up and just to let loose. Yeah, it's it always world. nice to uh, get out and actually explore a new location and a new resort after you spend so much time at your like home mountain that you know and so you know every little side hit, every run every chairlift and so to go to these new resorts and pretty much know nothing about them and actually do some full exploring was a nice change to spend a whole day skiing and actually get out and just ski for fun definitely so GoPro, stop recording.